don't have the fish on that side. This side is wrong. Yeah. And they can do, they can suck on this blade. today just forgot my sonnies got my neighbor Lee He's down there with me and how do you know we're gonna urban fish today because we're in Sydney Asbestos, a stoss. Yep. So they they mix it in. They mix it in with a fill. Yep. Then they come in at night and drop the shit fill. And then on top they put a meter of good. Yep. And it's like you can see it cut right through there, eh? You see all I see all white right through it. Yeah, yeah. It's asbestos. They don't care. And they just put a mound of dirt on top of it. And that's government stuff. Yep. That's not private. Yeah, it's not coming out. It's not getting flushed. No. Oh. Well, spot number one was a flop. Oh. All right, batchy be good. Hey. We'll go down a bit and work our way back. Because we've got plenty of time up this end. I don't think they were able to pass us yet. Oh, rubbish. Get out, mate. That's the sign we want. Bird was just feeding its head off. I was about to give up then. So this second spot was a bust. And then I heard this big splash up here. I knew it wasn't a mullet, I thought it had to be a surface strike. You know what? I've just thrown in two twitches and I got him. I got Lee down there, so I'll call him up and I think we found our brim. There he is. Hey Lee! Come here, buddy. I reckon there's a few up there. It, it was just too full on. I actually seen a shag going nuts. He's a nice brim, that. Going absolutely crazy. Just using a little curl tie. Come here, buddy. In. Lost me fishing partner. She just seen another one boiling up. But, the mate that I took here to catch one of these fish has just disappeared. Uh, do I stay and get that bite or do I go and find him? I'll go and find him. I 
spot. We're in the zone. That was a funny one. That one was just a grab. That's, that's exactly what I got. Yeah. Just a single grab. Another spot. We'll go back look for them. Oh, whack! Just got a solid get in here now. That was that was that was. I was looking at you, lifted the rod, and it went bang. Just then. Oh, there's a fish there. Might just have to play with our lures. Yeah, that was that was a sharp whack. Come, come in and throw up there. guys don't mind me oh that big old duck down there and so slow mate that was on the surface and he come up just went unreal well, I, d I didn't get it on camera. I had your rod bent over, yep. but I seen it. Unreal. You yep. caught a bloody bass in, in there's Parramatta Road. Still, still <laughs> know well done, man. I know you didn't land it, but. She was close. I don't know. A big, lazy, mid-winter slug. <laughs> well, I reckon we might hang out here for a bit longer, eh? Yeah. Mate, we come, come down off the bottom. And I seen him come up like it wasn't your... You had him on the surface. I, yeah. When I was coming across, I seen him. He took it on the surface. Did he? He took it three inches below the surface. And just so slow. There's got to be, That must be those pegs. Yeah. <laughs> I should have probably played him a bit more and let him actually yeah. go with it. Yeah. Just so I could set yeah, just hook. keep running him around. Yeah. But I was more interested in getting down. So I know I wasn't going to be able to lift him. Yeah. There. But he was... A big fish. Yeah, he would have been... Oh... 32 to 35? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, eh? So, uh, I don't, like, you sure it wasn't a barramundi? Oh, if it was, it was the dirtiest barramundi I've ever seen. But, possibility. The Parabarra, man, this is where yeah. you find them. And that, they, you know, the water tank would take that. Oh, I'm, yeah, we're going to have to keep fishing until we get one, because that could have been a barra. It did look like a bass to me. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, just just drop one. Hey, another one. Oh, I seen the line twitch. Like they just that's why they're so hard to catch. I'd say it was a power of arrow, man. Uh, might as well jump this one. And we just work our way all the way back through. Like if you go around and then back down and along, yep. we hopefully we'll come across them again. It's very little anything happening, like no bait fish, no nothing, but I just sort of truly believe that if that wasn't a bass, it was a barra. Yeah. And uh, they, the, the canals seem to hold them, like there's several canals that we've seen barra in. got his first landed his first fish Bjorn you get one go back and check it out there you go you got your first para brim para brim well you missed me in 
pink grub. Pink grubbing. Yep. Unreal. Is it as soon as you said about the pink grub, you showed me that pack first thing this morning and I thought, yeah. ooh, haven't used them for a while and then you I forgot all about it and it's you just yeah. How many casts? Second cast? Yeah. Oh third cast, sorry. Yeah. Second cast, I've got a big boil up and a grab on the tail. Yeah. And then third cast, bang. Well guess what? Lend us a pink grub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well mate, the boils I had three, four casts around the pass and I had V lines like schools of fish coming to Malua and then swimming away. Yep. So you're like on the money. Just below legal. Yeah, just so just fish. just below. Yeah. That's that's the thing, it's like it's a fish. It's we're in July. I mean I still I still got this feeling that that was a barra, not a bash you caught earlier. Mate, uh, um, because that's what the, the coloration of it. Yeah, you got to remember it's going to be dark in. His head was very arrow-like. Yeah. Like a barra. Because you uh, you don't realise that that's the pinnacle. His mouth was bigger than a bass mouth. Yeah. Lord. Well, that's the pinnacle of the of the urban fishing for us. Because I'll say it on I'll explain it on camera. The Buddhas release the fish every winter. They release barra into the river. It's a good luck thing. And we spend every winter trying to catch a barra, yep. a para barra, and uh, they. And the, the other thing is that the, when we have hooked them, the mouths are so hard on them that they usually spit these little hooks. Yep. So that makes me think more so that you had a barra. Oh look, you got one locked. You got one locked and loaded even for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, catching bass not here but in other systems. Yeah. In the middle of winter, you know, as a. No, a byproduct of what you're actually hunting. Yeah. That they still they they're sluggish compared to summer, but they still go you like yes. a bat does once they fire up. That's right, and the barrows are just so sluggish you don't they barely give you a fight. But yeah, it's the pinnacle of fishing these canals is trying to get one of those para barra. Dude, like the shell grit? Yep. So you know here at night on these big tides, if you were just fishing along here, there'd be brim all the way through. Yep. So this that's good signs. There's more signs of brim down here than what we've seen all day, so. You know, that's disgusting, isn't it? I need some bait. These are everywhere. That's what I want to do, is snap that off here. Yep. Pull that out, slide the line through, put it in, and then I've got a little float. I reckon it'll work. Just need some bait though. I would have done it today otherwise. Another one over there. Well, you got better eyes than me, I Bloody suppose it's because I'm blind. Yeah, look, there's one under it. Look at this. Oh yeah, there's a few there. Yeah, you would there. You gotta watch walking in this shit. Look. One, two, three of them. Well, it's disgusting, isn't it? To but dispose look, of them properly. Yeah, but you can see it all ends up here, eh? Yep. Well, look at the little bottle caps. Yeah, straws. Like you can't, you can't fish this river without being disgusted at what you see. And then when you get pulled over by security and they say you're not allowed to fish in here, oh geez, it gets me wild. Oh, you gotta love this place. It's got white spots. Oh no, that's a skin. Yeah, it's de definitely a cat. It's just so gross, isn't it? It doesn't even stink yet. Probably try on one of those needles. <laughs> well, that's that's what about six or eight of them we've seen so far. Where do they come from? It does my head in. Maybe they come from um, tropical islands, come in drifting in currents, drift into Sydney Harbour, and then suck up the creeks. <laughs> what else can I find? It's, a, it's supposed to be a wildlife sanctuary and that's why we're not allowed to fish. Yet the wildlife live in needles and yep. tyres and junk. And all I think, and, and like you just said a minute ago, where do you start? Like you feel like you should pick that plastic bottle up, but yep. look in front, look behind. If they allowed us to fish this, I would come in here every day with a bag. I'd bring one bag bring one out bag. every day. <laughs> yep. And... Uh, the other thing I, I keep pushing for is like if we had a, you know, like for you to get on a job site, you got a white card. Yep. Well, if we could do some sort of accreditation, some proper practices of fishing, 
and have that accreditation on us, then we see something dodgy down here, we can ring up. Yeah. And we ring up the fisheries or wildlife and, and say, look, there's something dodgy here, here's my number. And that should be enough to make them act on it. Mate, I heard something a little while ago that there is only six fisheries officers between the central coast and Wollongong. Yeah, well... To do Sydney as well. Yeah, that's about right. And, and I, I feel like they need to have... Like, you, you need two fishery officers at Wiser's Ferry, two at Barawa, and two at yep. Brooklyn. And they need to be going, or well, four. Just on the Hawkesbury. Yeah, just on the Hawkesbury. You need like four on each each light. Yep. And you need them going 24 hours a day up and down their stretches. You know, but at the moment, they're just chasing revenue off, off tradies. They're not after poachers. They're not after illegal activities. But they need them. And, and, and the other side of it, like, did you hear it... Uh, this earlier this year with the Port Stephens Marlin Comp. There's a guy called a Marlin, or a boat called a Marlin, and it ran into the marine park. And they chased it in there, and as soon as they hit the, the line, I don't know where fisheries turn up, because that's where our fisheries officers are, out on these marine parks. Yep. Anyway, he had 250 metres of line out on the Marlin, and they made him chop the line, because he was in a marine park, so that Marlin's dead. So around 250 metres of line in its gob. And then they find them, I was told, $880, you know? It's like... It's not, it's really out of their control. Well, they've killed the marlin. Yep. They should have let them land it, because they legally hooked it in the right spot. They should have let them land it. Yep. And then get out of there, but... And release it. Yep. Now, it's disgusting how they treat us. We're treated like second-class citizens, if you think about it. Look, all around here, like, look above you on that mound. There is even wheelchair access up there, you know? They cater for everything but fishermen. And it really breaks my heart, because how can you call this a wildlife reserve when you're poisoning the wildlife? The last time that, uh, that rubbish truck down there, or the one that we... They never get filled. They never get emptied, ever. That's why it all ends up here. And, and it's, it's just another uh, uh, hate of mine. It's like, if you're gonna make a, a rubbish trap, you have to treat it like a garbage bin and you have to empty it out on a regular basis. Otherwise it all ends up. Really no, the actual waste they're taking out of this river is nil. You know, like they, they, the money was spent on, on, on trapping uh, sewer traps and things like that, it's huge. The amount of waste those sewer traps are actually taken out. Well, I just walked over a baby's bottle, and yeah, I mean, it's really, it's really bizarre rubbish. Like amongst the needles and the dodgy stuff, you've got the the stuff that should never ever be in the river. You know, it should have been in landfill. You know, just look at all the bottle lids and pens, plastic, all the plastic, and then. This is what we're looking at. Can you imagine what's on the bottom of the river? Oh. Like yeah, it's, it's yeah, and all of it is less than 10 years old. Yep. That's the bit I hate. Like the old days we had paper and we had glass. We didn't have the plastic like this. 